Hey everybody, welcome to T-Roy Cooks. Now yesterday was Thanksgiving and I thought I'd show you how I'm going to use my leftover turkey. We're doing a turkey gumbo with some sausage in it. It's going to be fantastic. Let's start putting this together. Alright everybody, I got some butter melted in my pan. Now, I'm not going to make my own roux this time. I've shown you how to do that. I'll put the video up in the corner for you so you have to check it out. But I'm going to use this jarred roux right here. This is really good by Raging Cajun. So to start off, I've got about three tablespoons of melted butter in here. Let's see if I can open up my veggies here. I got about a pound of these, uh, it's the Cajun Trinity, so bell pepper, celery, and onion. I'm going to use about half a pound in here. And this is fresh. If you got the frozen, that'll be fine as well. You just want to saute these down just a little bit in that butter. So give me about five minutes and we'll be right back. All right, everybody, my onions kind of got translucent right there, so that's what we're looking for. It's been probably four minutes. Now I've got this jarred roux here. I'm going to go ahead and throw in, uh, I'm thinking maybe three tablespoons. And when you get this, it's got oil sitting on the top. Be sure you stir this up really, really nice. You've got to get that roux mixed in with the oil before you start using it in the pan here. So as you see, three heaping uh, tablespoons there. This will save you a lot of time right here, folks. Just warm that up. This will take a minute or two. I'll bring you right back. All right, at this point, I'm going to start adding some aromatics in here. Got my garlic. Just like that going in. Got some fresh thyme. I'm just going to stick a twig in there, and we can pull the twig out in a little while. And this is over like a medium-high heat. You can start to smell the aromas coming off of the, uh, the herbs, the garlic in that thyme. Yeah, this just needs a minute or two here. All right, it's time to start adding this some liquid. Now what I've got here, I've got, uh, this is two quarts or eight cups of water. I'm just going to start adding a little bit of it slowly. Let it dissolve into this roux that we got. And once everything starts kind of coming together like you see there, just keep adding more liquid. A little bit at a time and we probably won't use all eight cups of that water but uh, kind of get it to the thickness that you like all right everybody this is starting to come up to a boil I went ahead and added seven of those eight cups so almost almost two two full quarts time to add us some salt add you a pretty good bit there you go some fresh cracked black Go ahead and turn the heat down to a more of a medium heat. And at this point, we're also going to go ahead and add some sausage. I got some regular beef sausage. Karen likes it small, so I quartered it. And these other darker pieces, that's pecan smoked sausage. I'm going to add that. And I'm going to hold off adding my turkey because it's already cooked, and I just I just need to warm it in this gumbo. I'm not really going to cook it and make it all fall apart. So I'm going to add that towards the end. Right now I'm just going to put this down on the simmer and we're going to let this simmer for about a half hour. Just kind of let those flavors all mingle together. We'll catch you right back. Alright everybody, let me bring you up to speed since we've been away. Uh, I did go ahead after that first 30 minutes, I put a bay leaf in there and let that go for another 30 minutes, cover it on simmer. And I just took the bay leaf out and you'll notice from not only the sausage but that butter that we used earlier to, uh, to uh, sweat down the vegetables. There's a little bit of grease on top. Just take your, uh, you know, spoon or some kind of scooper up or like that, and just scoop all that fat off the top surface there. And uh, let me finish doing that, and we will bring you right back. We're fixing to add the turkey. All right, everybody, we ready for that turkey? Karen, you got it ready? Yeah, I got it ready. Here you go. There you go. And you use dark meat, white meat mixture, however you want to do it. I mixed it up. Cool. And we're going to stir this in. We're going to put the lid back on it. Let it keep simmering for, heck, I don't know, another half hour or so. And don't turn it up. Just let it simmer because you don't want that turkey to fall apart too much. I mean, it will fall apart just a little bit. But this is going to really make a great gumbo. Karen and I actually made this a couple of weeks ago, huh, Karen? Yeah, it's delicious. <laughs> it was delicious. 
So we're gonna do a retake on it and film it for you folks. So we'll check on it here in about uh, another half hour. Be right back. All right, everybody, it's time to check this again. Let's see where we're at with it. Now we'll tell you, me and Karen tasted a little, you know, probably like a half hour ago, and it did need a little bit more water because it was still that uh, that that roux was made it made a little bit too much bitterness so added some more water probably another cup or so and uh we'll add a little bit more salt to it and we're gonna call it pretty doggone good right there now, oh i need to take that piece of time back out of that twig right here there we go let's take that out there you go see all those leaves fell off there let's give it another little quick taste Oh yeah, that's tasting good. Smells good. It does. Now you can you can just stop at this point, and uh, you got your good little turkey gumbo right there. But what we like to do, we like to add a little bit of shrimp. So we're gonna add some shrimp in here. These are already cooked, so just to kind of warm them through. Mm, shrimp. <laughs> yeah, you know it. Stir these in. Let this come back up to temp. Maybe give this uh, 15, 20 minutes to. Uh, Bring those shrimp up the temp and uh, we'll meet you right back here with a plate. All right, folks, let me show you how you want to throw this together. Got some rice here. Get you a little bit of this uh, gumbo filet of sassafras. Sassafras leaves right there. Round up, put a little bit on your rice. And that'll help give it a little bit of flavor and also thicken this up. Get you some gumbo. Of course, I'm going Give me a lot of that meat because I like the meat. That's good stuff right there. There we go. Got that going on. Get you some uh, hot sauce. I'm using Texas Pete because I like it. Losing hot sauce is also really good. Red hot. Yeah, Karen likes the Frank's Red Hot. All right, folks. Let's give this a try. Let's see what we think about it. Got to stir all that. Filet in there. Here we go. Give me a little turkey. Give me a little sausages. It's hot. I'm be like Keith Bettag, burning my mouth. Y'all watch. Mmm. Oh man, that's good. Very good. What do you think, Karen? Is it good? It's delicious. Got me a little bread, sopping some juice up with it. It's good stuff, man. Karen made some homemade bread. Let me show that to you. A little French loaf here. Good stuff. Just for this gumbo. Isn't she terrific, folks? I thought she was gonna say something machine. Anyway. <laughs> Karen's munching out. I'm fixing to munch out. Folks, hope y'all give me a thumbs up. I guarantee you, this turkey gumbo tastes, it's different than, than regular chicken. It's really, really good. Hope y'all give it a try. Hope y'all try this and let me know what you think about it. Hope you share the video with all your friends and when you do, tell them T-Roy Cooks, responsibly hey, folks. There you go, everybody. <laughs> See y'all next time. Cheers!